to another haul video. This time we are doing a mini Yes Style haul. And the reason why this is a mini Yes Style haul is that I do not have enough money to spend hundreds of pounds on Yes Styles. I'll try on hundreds of different things. Um, I think I spent about 70 pounds on Yes Style in total for this video. Because I was really interested, I wanted to see exactly what quality of stuff they were sending, whether the sizes were gonna be right. Because I've watched a lot of Yes Style hauls for myself and I was really interested. I'm really easy to influence. Like, influencers really do their job quite well on me because if they tell me to buy a certain brand, I'm probably gonna buy a certain brand provided that I like, like the brand. So let's get on with this haul. This hopefully won't be as long as the last haul that I did because it's only a few items. So let's go. So the first thing that I bought for myself was I bought myself a book. I bought The Notes, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, which is like the BTS BT Universe story book. It's just there. It's not showing up very well because of the light, but it's like a really nice pastel book. It is a proper book as well. It's written very nicely. It's in English. It's done in a style of like their diary entries, I think. They've all got names and dates at the top anyway. And it's really good. I'm like working my way through this now. I love BTS. I'm a proper K-pop stan, I think is the word now, but like BTS are my ultimate bias. They're the band that got me into K-pop and I'm gonna love them forever. So yeah, BTS book, first ever purchase from YesStyle. So the first actual item of clothing that I bought from YesStyle is this green and white stripy t-shirt. It was £7.68. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. It is a very weird material. It's not like regular t-shirt material. The only way I can describe it is like, I used to have a dress that was made out of like scuba gear material and it's like a much softer, thinner version of that. So let's try this on. Okay, so the first thing that I have noticed upon putting this t-shirt on is that it is not as long as I thought it was. I'll put a picture of the girl in the listing here. She is sat down, but this t-shirt does look like it's a lot longer and a lot more oversized. I did get this in a small. now. YesStyle is an Asian website, it has Asian clothing on there and Asian sizes do tend to run a bit smaller than Western sizes so for every single item of clothing that I ordered I physically got a measuring tape out and took my measurements to make sure I was getting the correct size that I wanted because obviously I was spending my own money on it I really didn't want to have to send anything back and do you know what, the fit is fine, it's just my expectations were maybe a bit different to what I've got. Like, it's not as long as I was expecting. I thought it would come down to about here. Uh, but I think it would look nice, like, tucked into these jeggings. If I just tuck the front in there so you get the idea. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I like this. I like the fact that it's oversized and it's not too short. Like, I can lift my arms up, which is always a good sign in a crop top that I'm not flashing anyone, so that's good. So the next item that I bought was these chiffon shorts. They are a 10 pound pair of shorts and while they are worth it with like the material and how cute they are, they are not well made enough to justify 10 pounds. So if I just show you guys, I don't know how well you guys can see, but these are like, the stitching is starting to unravel and then at the very end of the tie, they're not sewn up and they are starting to fray. So I think what I might have to do is I might have to like stitch across there myself and then chop the end bit off so that it stops fraying. Other than that though, these shorts are really nice. They are one size fits all, um, which again is fine. They are very stretchy, so they would fit a lot of sizes and they have got the inside shorts as well. So let's try these on. So these are the shorts on. If I just tiptoe a bit, you can see how long they are. They kind of like come to mid thigh, which is really nice. Um, I think you'd probably describe them more as culottes than shorts because they do kind of look more like a skirt when they are on. However, the inner shorts, like those little netting-y bits that I showed you, they are just a bit too small for me. Now, this is fine because I can just like chop them or I can just like live with the permanent wedgie that I'm gonna have wearing these, but it's worth it. Like these shorts are so cute. They are a really nice length. So you don't have to worry about like bending over and flashing the entire world. And they're a really nice material as well. 
It says that they are chiffon, that they do not feel like chiffon, that they feel like crepe paper, um, but like soft crepe paper, so that's nice. And these are gonna be really nice to wear in the summer. So, yeah, make your own judgment on these. I really like them. Were they worth almost 10 pounds? Probably not, but will I get 10 pounds worth of wear out of them? Probably, so there you go. That's that's how I work out whether or not clothes are worth it, is how much am I gonna wear them? Will they fall apart before I've worn them that much? And I think these will be fine. They may not survive the wash, but I think they'll be fine. So the next item isn't something that I would usually wear, but I saw it on the website and it looked so pretty and it was only 13 pounds, so I kind of had to buy it. And it was this kimono sleeve cardigan, which I'll just pop on for you. Now, the only problem that I have had with this cardigan is that I do not know what to wear it with. So if you have any idea of what would look nice with this style of cardigan, please let me know in the comments because I have absolutely no idea like i think it doesn't look quite right with this outfit that i'm wearing at the moment but anyway it has kimono style sleeves which hang down they are just the right length for me they do hit quite elegantly like just above my wrist which is very nice and the cardigan itself is knee length it does have a pattern on the back which is i think it's mountains and birds and trees I'm not 100% sure because they haven't looked at it properly quite yet and I can't quite see it on the camera So I'm sure I will be able to put a little caption of what it actually is when I actually edit this video Um, it's super soft. It's gonna be really nice to wear in the summer and this was definitely worth 13 pounds So yes Now I was trying to like buy outfits from YesStyle So I did get myself a set and I also got myself a pair of shoes to wear with the set I'm going to talk about the shoes first because they are fine, they are fine. They're these Mary Jane shoes, they have a cross strap that wraps around your ankle. Now, I had to measure the length of my foot to make sure that I got the correct size. I'm a size 4 or a 36 and I actually ended up having to get a size up and get a 37 because my feet are right on the borderline between sizes and I wanted to make sure that they were going to fit me. And they do. These fit me really well. The only problem that I have with them is the ankle strap is too long. So the picture on the website shows that the straps wrap around once and this strap wraps around once and then I have about three inches of excess and because of the way the buckle mechanism works, I actually can't do them up like that. However, they're not quite long enough to wrap around again. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to poke a hole through the strap like further down and just kind of fix it myself because I do want to wear these. These were $16.99, they're £17 worth of shoe and they would be worth it if the strap fit correctly because the shoe itself fits fine. So just bear in mind if you are going to buy these, the strap is really long but not quite long enough as well. And the last item that I bought was a set. It was a £30 set and it was a skirt and a t-shirt. Now, if I had paid attention to the listing, I probably wouldn't have been as shocked as I was when I opened it because it's a knitted set. Now that I've gone back and checked the listing, it does say that it's a knitted set. It was just I was tired not paying attention. So I'll just try it on for you to let you see exactly like what it was. It's really cute. It's a little polo t-shirt and a skirt. Okay, so this is the set. I did buy it in the color white and I was quite shocked when I took it out of the packaging because it's knitted. It's nowhere near as summery as I was expecting. It's very thick. It's very heavy. I'm going to be very warm if I wear this out in the sunshine. And the shirt itself is so loosely knitted that I have to wear a vest top underneath it. So I don't know how much of this you can see on camera, but this line just here is actually the vest top that I am wearing underneath this shirt. So it is quite widely knitted, which will probably come in handy, but I am literally stood in my flat with my two lights on and I'm sweating. It is so heavy. Um, but that's just the top. It is meant to be a little bit oversized, so it does look a bit baggy on me, but it's meant to look like that. I've gone back and I've checked the listing. Uh, the skirt itself is also a lot longer than I was expecting. It's a knee-length skirt. It's the same knitted material as the top. 
Um, I can't quite show you how long it is. I don't know when I would ever wear this. I kind of bought this on a bit of a whim because I thought it looked really cute. And now that I'm looking at it in actually like the camera viewfinder, it's not as flattering as I thought it was the first time I tried it on. It makes me look a bit bulky because it is quite thick material and I have to wear a vest top underneath it and then the skirt is really thick as well. It makes me look quite wide. I don't know. It's cute though. It's definitely worth the £30. Like just the way it's made and the quality of the material is very much worth it. But I don't know if I would ever again spend £30 on it. I feel like Maybe I shouldn't have spent £30 on it in the first place because I might actually just never end up wearing it, which would be a shame. So maybe I'll, maybe, in, in fact, what I'll do is I will, I will wear this for Instagram pictures. It is cute enough for Instagram pictures. So yeah, that is my mini yes style haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments on the stuff that I've bought or any stuff that you've bought from yes style down below. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can join me next Friday at 8 for the next video.